But earlier this week, I said that I wanted to launch a special East Coast breakfast Christmas cookie. Mm. And initially, Sky and Darren wanted nothing to do with this. Um, and then yesterday, you went overboard. Darren, he bought an ad on the show. Crazy. Um, he asked the kids and the adults what his flavor should be. Yeah. So I was like, no. It was very helpful. No, Thank no, you. no. Thank you, I kids found and three adults. actual professionals that know what they're talking it's about a bit of and that know food. No, I I, I'm all about Levels. the overkill. So. This weekend was the MasterChef South Africa semi-final. Yeah. So it must have been really, really grueling. It was season five. And these three wonderful, beautiful, lovely home cooks that all look like they should be on TV received a golden ticket. So the, they will be in the final on the 23rd of November. So let's say no. good morning to Bridget Magwandi. Chanel Brink and Nabila Shamsham. Uh, <coughs> Hello. Hello, Bridget, Hi. Chanel and Nabila. So guys, firstly, can you taste... The cookies that we currently have on offer, yeah. <laughs> let us know what you think of them. And we really want to know about flavor suggestions. If you could please assist me, only me, in a flavor combo for a crunchy cookie. I mean, a crumble cookie. What would you pick? Um, what's your go-to in terms of flavors? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Do you like um, dark chocolate? All the chocolate. chocolate. P- dark and milk. Dark and mauve. She's and not white. helping. And oh, sorry. And, yeah. and, and okay, orange. You have to pick one. No, not orange. Okay, dark chocolate. <laughs> dark chocolate. I have a okay. question oh, on, yes. on top of yours. After you're done. Um, in terms of toppings, do you like nuts, candy? No nuts. No nuts. No, no candy. Any spices that you <laughs> favor? Apparently, if it's like our personality, then yes, we're supposed to have that in it. So maybe can we do like chili dark chocolates? Ooh. I was going to go with chai spice. Okay. Would, would that be something? That's you don't not seem bad. Enthusiastic. I like chai. Yeah, that's chai, yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> is chai. Hey, don't knock it still. Hey. Yeah, so don't knock it till you chai it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. So you guys gonna, are you going to get stuck okay, in? Yeah, you guys need to get stuck yeah. in now, so let me know what you think. Where, so so just, uh, where is Fatima, your, your microphone? Just tell us who's, what's on the, what's on the table here? What's on the... Board, yeah. So yeah. on the table is birthday cake, churro, um, hot chocolate with a small filling, brownie. Um, we've got milk tart. We've got triple chocolate, salted caramel. Um, I think I've and the viral Dubai kunafa. We've made that into a cookie. So guys, try them now while we ask you um, the questions. But Bridget, I'm going to kick off with you. You've had a roller coaster of highs and lows in the competition, and you're obviously a phenomenal chef. But are you good at baking cookies? Yes, I do like cookies, but I'm not much of a sweet tooth, but I can, you know, bake them for other people. But I'm more a cinnamon lover, chai lover. Do you think I should put that in my cookie? Perhaps, but I don't know with chocolate because I'm not really a chocolate mm. fan. I, I don't like sweet things. You don't think it'll match <laughs> cinnamon and chocolate, hey? Enough. Okay. Maybe. We never know. Okay, so we have we have Chanel, uh, Chanel uh, getting stuck yeah, in I, there. Yeah. Chanel, I'll, um, I'll, I'll ask you this question because you're, you're a Durban girl, right? Um, how do we keep our cookies crisp? Because mm. in our humidity, you open up a packet and literally 30 seconds later, they all moist. And I want to keep it crisp. What's the what's the hack? Um, the hack that I've heard, I don't know how true it actually is, but if you keep it in a container and make sure that it's sealed really tight, so plastic wrap, and then put the lid on top. Oh. Mm. Oh. So don't just put the lid. Put plastic wrap and then oh. put the lid on top, and then maybe also double yeah. the plastic wrap if you really want to keep it yes. crisp. Alternatively, just pop it back in the oven for yeah. a few seconds. Oh, and what? Crisp up. That's an the or the air fryer. Or the air fryer. Air fryer. Air fryer. I, I think that's the way. Air fryer. Have you guys been well, using the air fryer yeah. on MasterChef? Not on there. On MasterChef. So Chanel is the MasterChef queen when it comes to the air fryer. However, you can make the quickest, most delicious cookies in the air fryer. No. They're super moist in the middle and super crunchy on the exterior get out of town my technique up until this point has been just to eat the whole packet before it gets no 100 you know, so like, nabila just quickly on your side in terms of i know that your background has a bit of graphic design and if you look at the presentation here yeah, it's it's pretty epic so um it does does the graphic design history or the background here help you with the baking cooking i'm sure you also like baking so i would say that before I had started doing graphic design, yeah. I was more into the creative field. That's actually what influenced me into getting into graphic design mm-hmm. because I wanted to go into the industry and also be able to offer something creatively. Um, so when it comes to presenting the food, I think that that's definitely a big aspect of how you yeah. present things because mm-hmm. we eat with our eyes. Yeah. Um, so going into that industry and that field was definitely because I started cooking and baking before that. Yeah. And I started doing artwork and, and all of that before getting into the yeah. industry. Yeah. 
They yeah, do. Nabila can help me eat with my eyes. Eat with your eyes. My boy. I yeah. normally eat with my fingers, but I'm going to try it now with my eyes and we're going to come back to you. we got Nabila, Chanel and Bridget here. <laughs> MasterChef finalists. It's East Coast Breakfast. The MasterChef South Africa final, uh, final is going to broad, be broadcast on uh, Saturday, the 23rd of November at half past eight. Yeah. Nabila, now um, you've been known for your artistic approach to, f- to food. You're the you're the artistic one, but behind every beautiful plate, there's a deeper story. What part of your personal story do you hope to share through your final dish? Because after the final dish, that's it. Yes, after the final dish, that's it. Um, I think that I'd like to add an aspect of nostalgia to my dish. I think that most people relate to food in the way that, you know, memories bring back um, memories from eating food. Um, and so I think I'd, I'd like to add a creative aspect as well as um, a nostalgic aspect to it. I think that a lot of people have that sense of, you know, perhaps when you were a teenager or a kid and you had this specific fruit or dish, um, I think that it makes it more sentimental and special to every individual. And then I'm, I'm just hoping, obviously, that I can... You know, pull it all together, get it to taste really good, and um, look in such a way that the the judges would be pleased to see it. Mm. So when you use the word final dish, I've got a question for you, Chanel, but I have to ask this final dish thing, right? So I'm in sport, and usually when you're playing a final, you have Monday to Friday to prepare. You're training, you're doing penalties, whatever. Mm. Do you like, because you're also doing these tours and, and having interviews, do you practice yeah, before the 23rd true. of November or is it just 23rd of November, boom, let's go, final dish? You can't practice because you don't know what the challenge is going to be. Oh, so I could prepare a dish in my head mentally, but on the day, I don't know what I'll it's going some to be. Maybe they'll ask you about the ish. I wish there was, yeah, <laughs> but unfortunately, so there's not. No, there's no way to prepare. Like it's like Sky saying, like, okay, so you know, the, the Springboks are going to face England. Yes, right? they, they'll they'll go through all of the motions, like they'll do the press ups and the sprints and the side steps and all of that, not knowing what the opposition's going to do on the day. But you still prepare. Yeah. What, does, what does a chef do? You guys to, read cookbooks then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I like that. Do you like you read taste different textures or, or yeah. So you would have to obviously go over different techniques because, again, you don't know what the challenge is. So Mm. I think as long as you get the basics right, like, you know, your temperatures with different meats, you know, your knife cuts. I think that's the only thing you can really bank on. And hopefully it will carry you into your dish. Yeah. Now, Mm. Bridget, you've Mm. had a roller coaster of highs and lows in the competition. And I just want to know from you, um, I'm sure that you've grown as a person, but we asked you earlier and I really want to know this. What? ingredients or dishes were you given that you just you've never ever done before and i'm like i don't know what this is i can't cook it because that would happen to me the thing that i said i can't or i don't mm-hmm. know fully like really didn't know was that skill pikey Scal- thing <laughs> skill pikey oh. for the heritage day okay. What's that? What's we have that in, in yeah in i was literally was finding out how it even looks oh. how, what it even is literally while we're cooking thank god for the lady in the gantry and stuff but um, otherwise, there were other also dishes that I didn't really, I've never cooked, but I knew how to cook them. So the rest was just, you know, playing it and you learn as you go. Okay. Hmm. Learning as you go. So we have finalists with us, reality TV stresses. That's what I would like to know. You normally, if you think about cooking something beautiful for your family, you're pretty much alone in the kitchen. But when you've got the eyes of the nation on you, that's something different. How do you reconcile reality TV with doing something as intimate as cooking? Nabila, Chanel, and uh, Bridget, for MasterChef Season 5 finalists, are with us. We're going to get to know them a little bit more. Darren, Sky, and Carmen. On East Coast Radio. We have Nabila, we have Chanel, we have Bridget, we have three Master Chef finalists in the room with us. Guys, you've gotten to know us a little bit better by mm-hmm. now, and we're under the cosh. We are really under pressure here because we have to come up with our own individual yeah. cookie, unique cookie flavors. Now, Nabila, you seem to have a real understanding of unique, but at the same time, a retention of what is you know, uh, m- memorable, your, your memory of our food. You've, you've gotten to know us briefly. If you could just, don't worry about Sky and Common. What flavor? No, I brought them oh, here no, for my flavor. No, okay, Darren fine. has his flavor from yesterday, the, ladies. Fine. Let's start with Sky and I. Okay. Yes. Yeah. What, so what, what, what would be an ideal cookie type for Sky's personality? Can I ask some questions? Sure. Yes. Um, do you like spice? 
Mm-mm, no, no. Okay, you cannot you, eat spice. No, you cannot eat. Okay, so like hot, hot, like spicy, as in like flavorful spice. Oh, no, no, no. no, flavorful. Let me help her. Like salt. He and actually wanted a T-bone. Cookie. He eats lemon and herb mild, <laughs> okay. and he wanted a T-bone flavored biltong yeah, cookie. cookie. Okay, you <laughs> seem like a caramel, yeah, cookie kind of person. Is yeah, that correct? My, yeah, my kids are caramel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good to know. Yes. Um, so. <laughs> 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 wow. Um, have you ever had, let's see, have you ever tried Tres Leches? Is it there? Is it? <gasps> yes, you're going to like seven? that. Tres Leches. Said? It's like a, tell them what it is, a sponge cake with like a milk mixture that's soaked into it. Yeah, yeah, that's more like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I okay. like that. So it sounds Caramel, like. Caramel, sponge cake. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I, I've heard things about you liking the milk tart. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I've that, heard that things kind of about thing. so, you know, <laughs> snippets here and there. <laughs> <laughs> he does, so, he does. So, have you ever considered <laughs> perhaps combining? Um, Ooh, so, what, write this down, producer. Yeah. Just on a question, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, anything in the category of mint? I wouldn't say no, no but I wouldn't wake up. Uh, at you know, one thing that yeah. yeah. Okay, strawberries, fruits. Y- not too bad. Fruits? Yeah, Anything yeah. fruity? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. What about blueberry caramel? Oh. Blueberry that's, caramel. That's good. That's I like that. Interesting. That's so very you can when make. Do you, when do you, can you? When do you bring in the coconut? The coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Is there no coconut? Wow. I think, I think he's already enough coconut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, so. Do you want coconut in this? No. no. Oh, he just, just, it, he's just coconut okay, so you're throwing, he's trying to make throwing a, a spell yeah. in the works. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do like a blueberry filling blueberry or a blueberry confit. I like what that. About, what yeah. about common? What about common? Common. Um, Bridget, do you have anything? Any input? Okay, common. Okay, for common. Hmm. I'm guessing you might like a little kick to your cookie. Yeah, all yes, yes, yeah. You, as you, you like can chocolate. See, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Anything about Do you like a lot of chocolate? Yeah, I like, like a lot of rich, everything. Like silky chocolate. Yeah, whatever we're doing, a lot of chocolate. Like center in the yes. middle, mm-hmm. that type of nice chocolate. Yes, I was thinking about a, a Bridget, soft center Bridget, in the middle. Yeah. What in food, like in terms of like taste and stuff, what, what food kind of resembles biting back? Like when you just like yeah. feisty and like yeah. what would that be? What's feisty? What's feisty? Yeah, feisty. Spice. Spicy food. Yeah, yeah. like fa- spicy. Yeah. Mm. yeah, spicy food. Like I your love- chili and chocolate's a vibe, eh? Chipotle Still, chili chocolate. Yeah, chipotle. Oh, chipotle. chipotle. That's it's interesting. Got more like a smoky flavor. Mm. The- Okay. okay. Maybe sweetness. Can you tell us what maybe you said? Maybe a hot honey. Chipotle yeah, I, rather, I like the hot honey. I don't like. Hot I don't honey. want chili. Hot, 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 hot honey. Yeah. Hot, hot honey. Hot honey. I'm so Hot honey. I think we found it. Mm-hmm. Hot honey. Yeah, hot honey. Hot, okay. hot honey. honey. Mixed and with wings. the chocolate, dark chocolate mm. in the center of the yeah. cookie, a little bit of spice to it. Yes. I love it. Maybe right. sea salt. I think we salt it. Salt on top. Sprinkle sea salt. Oh, one last thing. Salt. Yeah. You need. A sprinkle of salt on oh, top God. of your yeah. your blueberry caramel yeah. cookie. Yeah, he can be salty. Salt. He can be very salty. He's Sportsman United yeah. and Kaiser Chiefs. He's been, yeah, he been salty for weeks now. Yeah. I think he needs. See, it. that's the chipotle there. <laughs> 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 can you feel that? That is it. Yeah. <laughs> so well, those two box it out. Um, um, so uh, you can't help Darren. You can't help. Me. No, no, Why can't help me? No, no. Because no, I had the help yeah, yesterday. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, I have no. actually been helped. Ladies, out. you guys are amazing. Thank you. We're gonna. I'm gonna send you my cookie when it wins, and obviously yeah, um, we'll have a trade off for one of you guys because you also. <laughs> there can only be one winner, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. But uh, good we luck. We wish you all, all, yeah, yes. all good luck, ladies. We're behind you all. This is yeah. tough. You, Somebody has yeah. to choose their favorite out of you. Do you like you all three so amazing and, and wonderful? How do we choose one? Can we not change the rules and make three winners this year? No. Yeah, yeah we'll share the World Cup with New Zealand. By the way, they, 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 um, <laughs> you can meet these ladies if you're in KZN this afternoon, half past two. You guys will be at Mplanga Crescent at Pick and Pay, I believe. Okay, great. So you yeah. can meet them there at half past two. If you're in the area, please pop by. And see the ladies. Mm. Guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much for having us. us. East Coast Breakfast.